Welcome back everyone to Pineleaf Plays the Runekeeper. And it's time to talk to Bori again to see what idea he may have on the location of this Heart of Fire. But still, we have no idea of its location. We now have the secret to opening the doors of the Heart of Fire, but not the location of the dwarves themselves. This is a frustrating turn. Speak with my Uncle Broger about this, if you would. He is busy, as usual, organizing the efforts here within Moria, but he may have some idea that has eluded our consideration. Broger is wise and has a great store of knowledge in that old head of his. I would be very happy to have him giving thoughts of this adventure as well, for his input is certain to be valuable. All right, so let's see what we have here. I do not have time for riddles. There's too much to be done. My nephew has told me of this wild goose chase, Pinestone. He, how can we be certain that Narkelab, this heart of fire, ever existed at all? We would have heard tales of such a forge, surely. And Siegelberg, an axe made entirely of mithril? Ludicrous! This would surely have been featured in many of our tales before now, as all doors will sing its praise until the end of time. You would have better luck catching a wild red-horned goat than you would of finding this ridiculous forge. This secret to opening the door that you have recovered is nothing more than a mad dwarf's mutterings. I don't think he's impressed. I have had an idea. What if the goblins have found a heart of fire? Apparently, though, he has other lots on the matter. You will always have my respect for what you did before the doors of Durin, avenging my poor son with your excellent weapons. But I must be honest with you. I believe you are wasting your time. As long as you will be trapsing around the dark looking for this flight of fancy forge, you might as well accomplish something worthwhile. There seems to be a large goblin presence among the Silvertine loads, far to the south and below the great delving. As long as you are searching for this fabled heart of fire, you may as well slay goblins while you do it, especially the ones that have moved into the Gamilphilic the Elder Mine. The goblins are many, and bringing an ally or two might be a good idea. That was back in older days when quests were a little bit, say, less solo friendly. <clears throat> in fact, why not steal some of their maps? They have long lived there in the darkness, and their crude maps may show the way to this mythical forge of yours as well as being useful, being useful to those of us seeking paths that actually exist. So therefore, we are to kill goblins within the Silver Team loads and pick up a few maps. Now, this is within the Silver Team loads, as you note, which is not where we're quest now. Currently, we're, oh, we're in Durin's Way right now, and before we were in Dolven View. So what we are going to do is I'm going to go back to questing in the Dolven View. That will send me into the Silver Team Lows, and I'll take care of the goblins while I'm taking care of the Silver Team Lows. But I'll be back when I get back into the Dolven View. We are back here in Dolven View, and first let's take care of the library. First, securing the library. Balin came, but we have heard no word from him. You found a journal on the road with an objective of recovering this book? Amazing, but... Alas, the years and foul vermin infesting Casa Doom have been most unkind. So many pages are ruined. No matter. With enough time, I'm sure I can piece it back together, even if it takes me years. All right? It is said that Durin's bane dwells here, though we have not seen it. Hammer and tongs! These papers must date back to the time of Durin's rule. A very promising fine pinestone. 
Faligir Twisttongue was a famous riddle master and tinkerer of words. These runes are utterly foreign to me, so I believe they may be of a special language he made up. You should hang on to these papers and find in case you find any of these runes in Moria. I have a feeling old Faligir had left some puzzles to be solved. We finish that. Now next thing we want to do is talk to this guy again. Balin came, but we have heard no word from him. We have had some strange encounters, to be sure. White hands and Uruks and goblins and rucksacks and deep rifts. Better you than me, Pinestone. Well, I am glad you made it back, safe and sound. Take your rest here at the Dolben View, where the light is bright and the fire warm and the runestone is non-legendary. Yes. Eight. All right, so I guess we'll take this one then. Now we do get a couple of infused garnets for this. Now he has a couple of items here. Before we do that, oops, that's the way down. That's for sure. Before we do that, back when I was killing those goblins and wondering what ever happened to that quest to go against the white hand lieutenant that goes traveling around. It seems that I had found a shield in my inventory and failed to activate the quest that it started. So that's where that quest came from and unfortunately I failed to activate the quest. So now I must go back down. So therefore if you go into this area, it's unfortunately it's not an auto-granted quest, it's an item-granted quest. So therefore, I do have to go back. So that's a go back. That's because I wasn't paying attention to my inventory, and was, and there would have been a pop up. Unfortunately, of course, I probably assumed it was, the pop up was something to do with leveling up a legendary item or something like that. Which is the problem about the pop ups being consolidated instead of being individual pop ups. Because now, you're not sure what is popping up. And I can understand they felt that there were just so many things that could pop up that they didn't have room for the alert panel. Uh, let me see. Okay, let me take care of this guy first. Hopefully I can have him... Oh, rats. <laughs> I would rather not have to fight that goblin at the same time as the Uruk. And fortunately, is there a way I could draw his attention alone? Oh, how, how perfect! Ah, yes, nice, nice, nice. White hand lieutenant, so that means this is what he was talking about when we were, we were with him before, where he was saying white hands. Because there's. There's an Uruk. Oh, wow. Just wake myself up there. In that we have an Uruk from the White Hand here. And of course, the White Hand is not a natural presence here in Moria since Moria has its own native orc and goblin population. The shadow of Mordor will not long fill the halls of Khazatum. White hand mark? And an enemy Uruk leading it all? That is strange news, and I am not sure what to make of it, but it sounded like an altogether disagreeable affair. I am glad you put a stop to it, Pinestone. All right, very well. And... Eh. Looks like I have something from a Hobbit present that's better than that, so I'll just take the armor. And that takes care of Servant of the White Hand. So now I've taken care of everything here.
Now, what I see is our next item is the cooling chamber. Now, this is a quest that can get a little bit on the annoying side. Oh. Oh. Let's see, because I didn't take six. Okay, that's right. This is it. <laughs> so, let's get ready to go into the cooling chamber. I doubt that Lord Barleen still lives. Pinestone, I would like to know more about why the water systems of the Great Delving are not operational. I do not relish the idea of our expedition needing to rely upon imported water. There is a cooling chamber not far from here, and perhaps we should investigate it. I am not unfamiliar with such systems, so I believe I will be useful in trying to get the system working again. And there's a note here that it's intended for solo play, but you can have two people do it if you wish. And that's a common thing in the revamped Moria. Well, maybe not common, but it does happen a few times. So, explore the cooling chamber with Lockby. So, let's head into the cooling chamber. Above the great forges of Casa Doom, lies a chamber that was used to cool the rising steam and return it as water to the pools of Moria. What purpose could goblins have within the walls of that ancient chamber? I'm sure it's nefarious, no matter what it is. Now, in this case, we have these things where we have these horns that we could summon him, and we go with this with Slogby. This is different from the way it usually went. It used to go back before the revamp. Before the revamp, he went with you. There weren't these summoning horns, and if he got killed, you lost it. So it was an escort quest. Now it's more of a, you get aid from this fellow quest. Greetings. Ah, so there you are. What a marvelously constructed place it is. But I fear that there are enemies all around us. I will do my best to help clear them out. So let's find and defeat the Moria Chieftain. And if I get separated, we could use the horn. Now, this thing can still be tricky in a couple of points, so... That's the reason why they allow you to do it with two, because... It is definitely not a simple quest in my mind. And it used to be very, very, very annoying, because... It was very easy to get killed in it. Oh. From over there, I thought he was going to miss the whole thing. I'm trying to think if I've actually... I don't think I've done the revamped version with the Rune Keeper. So I don't know how well it's going to go. I know that in some cases, it can be tricky. It has its own types of challenges. Alright. And one of the bigger challenges is not pulling too much. It's probably the biggest one here. No, I don't think there's a requirement to clear out everything, but of course, the more you clear out, Especially with the patrols, the less you have to worry about biting you in the back when you come about later. Now, here's the next horn where we can go back to in case anything's wrong. And the real pain about this one is this work rider. You see, this work rider is a signature. And he also has a habit of, as work riders are wont to do, to run back and start throwing spears at you and when he does that he sometimes falls off the cliff 
And that pretty much... See what I mean? We got a wanderer right there who's going to probably add to the entire thing. And I am stunned and I can't do anything. And, <laughs> and I'm in a lot of trouble. Fortunately, he's a healer. But as you can see, the the warp rider, see, he moved back. And I can't get two of these at once. I don't know what he's like in his damage. How's he doing right? Oh, my goodness gracious. What? I can't heal him? Oh, he healed himself at least. Oh, come on. <laughs> so that means now I gotta go all the way back to resummon him or to kill those guys solo, which is why. That's why I say that there's still a few challenges left in this item here. And I just don't like fighting the group that's there because I've just too often, half the time I do it, that warg runs back. falls off the cliff and you're stuck in combat for a long time afterwards and it just pretty much ruins the instance. That's why I bypassed him even though it would have saved me a bit of a run if I could have just done the resummon right there. And you see it was a real pain that we had the patrol come by right as I was in one of those fights against a signature and two hails <laughs> two hails that <laughs> been too many skirmishes and two s and two normals and that's why you might want to bring in two now there is another horn right here okay that's a nice place for a horn so it's a good checkpoint to have then so if I lose him again I don't have to go all the way back to the beginning And there's the next location where we have three. So you see there are several points where we have three, and that's where it gets a little dodgy. As you saw last time. Alright, so this case we just have three of them. So let us be nice if we could pull them up. Oh, see you notice that one of them didn't even notice our fight until... Try and see if I can... Oh, okay. I must have resisted it. And the goblins run back and, of course, draw you into the other. So that's where it gets really painful. And I'm not too sure that that guy ever heals himself. I think he only heals me. and he, I can't heal. It's like... What? All right. It's good. At least it's good. It's not like the old version where if he got killed, it's instance over. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for him to get up here. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah! Okay. I didn't catch him at the right spot. I wanted him to be away. I wanted him to be at the closest approach when I hit them, and he turned a little fast for me. I think I got that. Alright, good. And we have him down. Alright, this one also gets a bit tough, because if you get all three of them at once, well, you saw what happened before.
At least not as bad as getting four at once. Alright, now here's another horn, and this also has the chieftain. Now let's go after him. Now, chieftain's an elite. Now we've got this guy helping us, so that's good. Alright, I think it's time to pump up a shield. See how much healing we can get up on ourselves. So yeah, it's... Depending on your class or whatever, it can be a little tricky. But, it is solo as you see right there. Especially when you consider that Runekeeper isn't exactly my strongest class. Alright, I fixed the jam lever. Fixed the rusted gear. And we've got everything moving again. Yay! Well met. You did very well, my friend. Thank you for your help. I would not have been able to face so many goblins alone. So, we continue and... And that is it. We have completed the instance. So next time we will talk to him again to close out this quest and head into the next section of the Mines of Moria. The next episode of Finally plays the Runekeeper.